Exactly what's up? Welcome back to the NW Sportscast. The Seattle Mariners back in first place after another win over the Texas Rangers. They get the series win. It's their third series win in a row. They obviously swept the Reds. They took two out of three in Colorado and then again taking two out of three here in Texas. So the Mariners, yeah, they've been rolling. If you look at, if you go back to uh, the past nine games, they are six and three. If you want to go a little bit further, even the past 13 games, they are eight and five. So yeah, Mariners, are, are we back? Or are we back as a team? We're 13 and 12 now overall. We're in first place. Luis Castillo, he sure looks like he might be back. Still kind of struggles with giving up home runs, but he struck out six guys. He went six innings, allowing just those two runs. Um, and I believe two walks. Yeah, good performance today from Luis Castillo, who is currently, uh, guys, Luis Castillo, he is currently in the lead for the American League in strikeouts, now with 42 strikeouts. He picks up his second win of the season, so he is now 2-4 and four with a 4.15 ERA, 34 and two-thirds of an inning with 42 strikeouts, a 1.3 whip. He's going to be just fine, guys. He has allowed those five home runs, and that's, uh, that's the third most in the MLB, um, but... But, guys, I, I think Luis Castillo is going to be okay. Obviously, he had that really rough start, but he's really settled in in the past three starts, actually. His past three starts have all been pretty good. So, yeah, love to see it out of Luis Castillo. The offense today didn't do a whole lot, but they did score four runs, and that was what mounted, That was what counted today for the M's. You know, four runs ends up being enough. Uh, Luis Urias, he's going to be my player of the game. He goes one for three with a two-run home run. That's his second home run of the season, but the, the two-run home run was huge because at the time, the Mariners were tied 2-2, two to two, and um, and that two-run home run gave us the lead. We never looked back. Andres Munoz, he gets the save, three up, three down in the ninth. Gabe Spire got a couple of big outs for us in the eighth. Ryan Stanek pitched in the seventh, um, and then, of course, Castillo went the first six, and the bullpen was sharp. Uh, Stanek does allow one run. Mitch Hanniger made an error. So did Dylan Moore. Uh, Demo filling in at shortstop today as J.P. Crawford is now injured. He's on the 10-day IL. Um, and Cal Rowley was back in the lineup at catcher, so that's great to see. He took that game off yesterday, of course. Uh, so the Mariners filling in spots as necessary, but they they get the job done. Demo, yeah, his second straight game at shortstop. And he, he goes one for three, but he does make an error. Uh, Dylan Moore, he's, at, he up, he's up to hitting 217 now. So he, his bat is you know looking all right uh, after kind of a slow start at the plate for himself and Luis Urias as well. Luis Urias, his bat is starting to come together, which is awesome. You know, we're seeing both of our third basemen, Josh Rojas and Luis Urias, they are both producing at the plate, which is something that we were a little bit worried about this season going into the year was, are we going to get anything out of third base? The answer so far has been a humongous yes. Uh, first baseman Ty France, he also hit his first home run of the season. Um, he hits a two-run shot as well. That one scored Julio, uh, who is leading off and in the leadoff spot. Julio collecting two hits from that leadoff spot, so good to see him do that. And hopefully he can, you know, just go on an absolute tear, hitting leadoff without JP for a while. Um, so it, it looks like, you know, without JP, the lineup that they're going to be rolling with is going to be Julio, then Mitch Haniger batting second, Cal bats third, and then it'll be Ferrant in the four hole and um, Jorge Polanco in the five hole that leaves you know mitch garver to bat sixth dylan moore seventh uh and then you know josh rojas though josh rojas can also bat seventh honestly that's probably what i do without if jp is going to be out for a while you got julio lead off probably then mitch cal i would say yeah ty fourth is fine I, I don't really love Ty as a cleanup hitter, though. I would almost maybe switch Ty to bat third and have Cal bat fourth. I don't know. Neither of those are great. And then, you know, Jorge Polanco in the five hole is solid. Honestly, I would probably hit Rojas sixth. Uh, he's been hot. And then Garver seven, Dylan Moore eighth, and then whoever's playing left field bats ninth. When Canzone comes back, Canzone definitely uh, will probably be hitting around four fifth or sixth in that lineup as well so yeah and the lineup it's not is it as deep as we thought probably not you know we, at, on opening day we looked at that lineup and said wow there's no there's not a single hole and, and right now there's definitely you know left field hasn't given you a whole lot so far um in Canzone's absence shortstop you know Dylan Moore is he's a fill-in he's a stand-in guy uh, without J.P. Crawford um and D.H. right now has been kind of a hole as well you know Mitch Garver really hasn't done anything uh offensively so you know, there, I would say there's there's looking like there's you know two to three holes right now on this Mariners lineup, and that's okay. 
Uh, the pitching has been good enough to cover for the offense, and that's what we were talking about last night, right? You only need to score four, four to five runs most games, and you're going to win most of your games. That is what we did today, so congratulations to the Mariners on grabbing the win. They are in first place in the American League West with a 13-12 and 12 record. Hopefully, they can take that and not look back. Next up, the Mariners are going to take on. It's a tough series, but it's a team that we are ahead of in the standings. We take on the Arizona Diamondbacks, the team that was in the World Series just last year. So that's a kind of a weird way that the schedule works out, that we had to play the World Series champions, and then right after we had played the World Series losers. Um, the Diamondbacks, though, yeah, tough tough team to beat, but they are actually 12-14. and 14, uh, And we're going to see former Mariners Eugenio Suarez, former Mariner Cattell Marte. We will not be seeing former Mariner Paul Sewald. He is still on the injured list. And the Diamondbacks, they're going to see former D-back uh, Josh Rojas, former D-back Sevi Zavala as well. So a nice little little trade-a-roo of, uh, of players as well. We have two of their old guys. And also, if you count Mitch Hanniger, Mitch Hanniger was also a former D-back. So we have three former Diamondbacks. Uh, we would have had a fourth if Canzone was healthy, but three for the moment. Um, and then they have two former Mariners. So kind of a fun series to to see that all play out. Um and yeah, it's gonna be tomorrow's game. Zach Gallen against Emerson Hancock. That's gonna be a tough one to win, I think, for the Mariners. Uh, Zach Gallen's really good. Emerson Hancock, not so much. But we have seen Hancock pitch very well in his last two starts, so maybe the Mariners can win that. I would say probably if we're gonna lose a game, that's gonna be it. Then on Saturday, it's George Kirby versus TBD. So hopefully that should be an easy win. And then Sunday, we've got Logan Gober against, again, another TBD. So, yeah, again, hopefully that that, that should be a pretty easy wins in that scenario, uh, playing against two two starters that we're not sure yet. Uh, but, you know, we never know, so we just got to hope. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is the NW Sportscast. We do post games to every single Mariners game. So if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, make sure you give us a subscribe. You give us a like. Uh, you maybe comment down below what was your favorite part of this game for the Seattle Mariners. Uh, and maybe if you're really feeling crazy, maybe you could even hit that bell, ring that bell for notifications on future videos. We're going to have another video uh, in a couple hours today talking about the uh, injuries to J.P. Crawford, as well as some injury updates with Matt Brash, Gregory Santos, and uh, talking about the newest member of the Mariners, Leo Rivas. Never, If you've never heard of him, you're probably not alone, because I, to be honest, I had never heard of him until this morning. But we've got all the research for you about Leo Rivas, and could he be the, this year's version of Jose Caballero? He just might be. But guys, with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching the channel. We're also going to have live reactions to the Seattle Seahawks in the first round of the draft later tonight, as well as reactions to the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh rounds, player profiles, and everybody that we draft, and all of that good stuff and more right here on the NW Sportscast. You don't want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. We are the only, the only Seattle sports channel slash podcast that does not have a bunch of ads in our videos. The only ads you're going to hear is ads for our own channel because we want to promote ourselves, but we're not we're not branded, we're not under any sponsorships, we're not trying to funnel any kind of corporate agenda at you guys. We are just talking me and of course Drew, our other host who is absent with us today, but he'll be he'll be reacting live to the Seahawks tonight with me on the channel. So if you guys want to see that, again, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. As always, guys, Go Mariners!